Central Bank Governor Ajit Nevad Cabral has tweeted that Sri Lanka had repaid a 500 million US dollar international sovereign bond today. He had published the tweet by tagging the International Monetary Fund and international rating agencies. The Economic Next website reported that about 117 million US dollars of the maturing bond are owned by domestic investors, mainly banks. India has granted a 500 million US dollar line of credit to Sri Lanka to purchase petroleum products. The Indian High Commission in Sri Lanka tweeted that India had offered the credit line to strengthen economic partnership. They had tweeted, quote unquote, a friend holds out a helping hand again. The Indian High Commission said the credit facility was granted after a discussion between India's External Affairs Minister Dr. S. Jai Shankar and Finance Minister Basil Raj Paksa. Leaders of seven Tamil political parties in Sri Lanka have written to Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi requesting him to urge the Sri Lankan government to fully implement the 13th Amendment to the Constitution. The letter had been handed over to Indian High Commissioner Gopal Bagle. The parties requested the Indian Prime Minister to urge the current government to implement the clear commitments made by all sections of the government from 1987. They said this would enable the Tamil-speaking people to live with dignity, self-respect, peace and security in the areas of their historic habitation, exercising their right to self-determination within the framework of a united, undivided country. The letter has been signed by Tamil National Alliance leader R. S. Sambandhan, Ilangay Tamil Arasikachi leader Marvel Sina Adiraja, Tamil Makal Kutani leader C. V. Vigneshwaran, Tamil Elam Liberation Organization President Selvam Adekalanadhan, Democratic People's Liberation Front President Dharmalingam Siddharthan, Elam People's Revolutionary Liberation Front President Suresh Premachandran, and Tamil National Party leader N. Sri Kantha.